measure the talents and worth of a farmer? Well, for this group of farmers and ranchers, dollars and cents can't begin to quantify the amount of wealth or success they have had in their lifetimes. That is measured in a much more meaningful way, by the special relationship they have developed between themselves and their land. The idea at the Burroughs family farm near Denaire is to use wisdom from the past as a guiding light to incorporate new ideas into their century-old collection of family farms. And to that extent, owners Rose and Ward Burroughs have a variety of crops and livestock to look after. But over the years, they've also managed to implement a variety of conservation plans at their farms as well. For example, they have their cows graze year-round under a carefully managed grazing method so they don't overwork any one piece of land. They have also created a habitat for a diverse population of birds and mammals and provided a home to dozens of native flowers and plants. All of this is not just a part of their livelihood, but rather a way of life for the burrows. Today where we're at and, and our philosophy is that we're here in life for a very short time. And as stewards of the land, it's, it's our duty and our responsibility to do the best job we can. And improve all of this, 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 this wonderful resource of land in, in the Central Valley where we have water and climate and, and this wonderful opportunity, try to improve them so that, so that when, as we pass them down to the next generation, they can pick, up, they can pick that up and run with it and, 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 and make it even better and so that, so that the, the future boroughs and, and generations uh, have, have uh, if they want to stay in agriculture, have, this, have an opportunity to do so. Although neither is from a farming family, Stephen Pedersen and Jean Byrne relish the opportunity to farm and leave a legacy for others. I think for both of us it was a need to do something real with our lives, something that really felt like, um, uh, you know, that you have a physical product that you're creating. And also being close to the land, having open space, um, these things were all appealing to us. Today the couple is growing organic fruits, vegetables, and flowers on their family farm, High Ground Organics, just outside of Watsonville near the Harkins Slough. They have also established their own CSA business, which allows them to offer their products directly to customers. In addition, the couple has also recognized and welcomed the abundance of wildlife that resides on their farm and have made it a goal to preserve this critical habitat. There's so many different challenges and uh, so many different things you have to, to balance and to, to think about. It's just a big challenge, but it's, it's rewarding and it's, it's what I'll, I'll do for the rest of my life. Does one of California's oldest dairies stay modern? Well, for the answer, look no further than Dino Giacomazzi, who tends to 900 cows on his family's dairy, which was established by his great-grandfather. My family's been farming and milking cows here in the same spot uh, every day since 1893. And just because they've farmed in the same spot for the last century doesn't mean they're not willing to change on the dairy. Quite the opposite, in fact. Thanks to Dino's ingenuity, the farm is hoping to lead the way for other California dairies. In 2005, he adopted strip tilling, a type of conservation tillage on the farm. Dino has also assumed a leadership role in agricultural communications and outreach, training fellow farmers to use social media to advocate for sustainable agriculture and communicate with consumers about the vital work farmers and ranchers do. The internet exists so that people don't have to make uh, other the mistakes that other people have made, right? And so people can use, uh, you know, me as a resource to learn from my mistakes so they can start with the latest uh, ideas and, and, and then improve it from there. In addition, he has volunteered to work with several state agencies on a long-term groundwater monitoring system to determine the relationship between dairy operations, waste and nutrient management practices, and groundwater quality. A lot of farmers that I've talked to think we're crazy for doing it, you know, for, for participating in this way because 
of some perceived risk, but you know, I, I think we, we do it for that exact reason, because somebody has to do it. And for his determination to balance both innovation and economics to improve the environmental outcomes on his farm, the California Farm Bureau Federation, in partnership with the San County Foundation and Sustainable Conservation, are pleased to recognize this year's Leopold Conservation Award winner is Dino Giacomazzi.